Hi, I'm Tim Perfit, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use WinClone to quickly and easily transfer your bootcamp partition from one Mac to another. What I have here in front of me today is I have two MacBook Airs. I have an older MacBook Air, second generation, that I've installed Windows onto a bootcamp partition. It's Windows 7. I've run all the software updates. I've installed all the applications. I have it configured exactly like I, would, I want it. And I just got this brand new MacBook Air, and I want to be able to quickly and easily transfer my bootcamp partition from one to the other. Normally this would be a time consuming process because you would have to create a bootcamp partition on the new one, reinstall Windows, reinstall your applications, put all your new serial numbers in, and then restore from a backup onto uh, the bootcamp partition or into Windows. WinClone makes that process much easier. On the older MacBook Air, we'll simply open up WinClone, create an image of the bootcamp partition onto an external drive, then we'll plug the external drive into the new MacBook Air and using WinClone will restore onto the bootcamp partition and then it'll boot up into Windows and look identical to the bootcamp partition that was on the prior uh, MacBook Air. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'll do is I'll open up WinClone. And you can see that the only partition that's showing is my bootcamp partition. So I've used bootcamp, boot, bootcamp Assistant, created a bootcamp partition and installed Windows 7 on it. Um, I've booted into Windows, everything's working fine, installed applications, put in serial numbers, those kind of things. So it's exactly in the state that I want now. So it's very simple to do. All you need to do is select the bootcamp partition and then it gives you a little bit of instructions and you click image. And the next thing is it'll prompt you, do you want to delete the uh, memory caches? And this is allow, it allows Windows to uh, operate more efficiently by taking whatever's in memory and putting it onto disk when it's running. But these memory caches are recreated the next time you start Windows, and all they do is make the image larger. However, it is deleting something off the source partition, so WinClone does prompt you to see if you want to be, uh, do you, you want to go ahead and remove those prior to imaging so you can make the image a little bit smaller. So we'll go ahead and choose to remove them, and we'll save it to the desktop, and we'll call it Windows 7. Um, you're uh, prompted for your administrator credentials, and then it'll go ahead and start imaging your bootcamp partition. Um, a couple of the other, uh, one of the other features that you can do is you can go up to the tools menu while it's doing this is open the console log and you can see that it, it shows you um, some updates on the percent that percent that's been completed or any errors that may occur. We'll go ahead and let this run and finish saving off the Windows image. Restoring an image with WinClone 3 is easy. All you need to do is create a Windows partition. It could just be an empty uh, partition created with Bootcamp Assistant or Disk Utility. It does have to be formatted as a Windows uh, file format in order to show the partition up. Um, either it has to be um, NTFS or um, uh, FAT32. But when, that's, when it is a Windows partition, it will show up and allow us to uh, restore onto it. If you created the image on this machine, it'll automatically show up uh, under the sources. The image will show up under the sources. In this case, I copied the um, image from a, an external drive. So all I'll do is drag it onto the list, and you'll see that it automatically appears and allow me to select it. If the image is larger than the partition you created, you'll need to make the partition large enough to actually fit the file system. There are some ways around that, and we'll talk about that uh, in future videos about shrinking and uh, expanding the file system. But in this case, let's just go ahead and restore the boot camp uh, uh, image that I created uh, in the, the prior video. So we'll go ahead and select the uh, volume that I want to restore, and we'll click, click Restore. It'll give me, are you sure you want to do this? It does destroy the contents that are on that bootcamp partition. So you want to make sure that you, if you had any data on that partition, you want to make sure you back that up as well. Um, just in case there's any data on it, you want it to. It does um, change to make the to, to make Windows bootable. There is some writing to the, uh, the, the disk that affects, that may affect both the Mac and the Windows side. So just to be cautious, it's always good to make sure that you have a backup on any files on, on either the Mac side or on the Windows side, um, just to make sure that no data is lost uh, um, in case anything uh, goes wrong. So we'll go ahead and click on Restore, and we'll get another option, which is the Copy Boot File. So one of the things that um, causes Windows to not boot is if you move 
the uh, what's called the partition number and so if you have multiple partitions or if you have you've moved from something that had both the Mac and Windows on it to just having Windows or something like that um, it can the BCD file can cause Windows to not boot and we can replace it with a generic BCD file in this case we're just simply replacing what we had there before so the BCD file does not need to be replaced so we'll need to put in our administrator credentials and it'll go ahead and restore the data. Once the data is done restoring, we can then successfully reboot into Windows. All right, the rest restoration is now complete and there's an option to open up startup disk, which we'll go ahead and do. And it'll open up startup disk and now you'll see you have the ability to select the Windows partition to then reboot into it. It is not unusual for Windows to run a disk check after the, it's been restored. So if you see a black screen with a uh, checking of the disk, make sure that everything's consistent, that's completely normal. Windows will then reboot and it will, uh, um, um, everything will be restored exactly back to when you first took the image. Well, that's about it. Thanks for watching and learning a little bit about how to transfer your Windows partition from one Mac to another. That's just one of the features of WinClone. WinClone can also allow you to shrink and expand the Windows file system on your bootcamp partition to allow you to easily resize the size of the bootcamp partition, as well as using WinClone to save a copy of your bootcamp partition off to an external drive so you can easily snap back to that known good configuration. Be sure to check out twocanoes.com for more information, and thanks for watching.